Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is the our 28th tutorial of Power BI. In the previous class, we have covered some basic other functions as well as some relationship functions. So our next functions are statistical DAX functions. So let me click on this link and these functions are mostly used in the statistical report. So we don't use these functions in our normal report. So let me skip for now only. So our next function is table manipulation functions. So in this category, we have a list of various functions like add columns, accept, filters, and so on. So let's understand these functions with the practical. So go to our product table. And in product table, we have our sales ID, products, and product category. So we will create one more table with the help of select column DAX function. So what I will do, I simply click new table. And I make this table name as a selected column. Now I will write my DAX which is select column. Now here first parameter is table name. So our table name is product. Press comma. Now I will press shift plus enter to go in next row. And inverted comma begin. Now I will write my header name which is product. and inverted comma close and press comma and the next parameter is expression so i will write the column name here so we guys can see our product column has copied so in this way you can add multiple columns Let's say this time I want this product category. So what I will do, I will just simply go in selected column table and remove this bracket and comma and we add multiple column name. So our second column name is product category. So I will write here product category under inverted comma, press comma and under expression two, we need to write our column name, which is product category. So I will write the product category from product column and close the bracket. So we guys can see we have created new table with the help of select column DAX function. So in this way we can use this select column DAX function. Now we will understand this add column function. So for add column we can only add new column not existing one. In selected column we have a existing column like products product category but for add column we cannot add the same expression let's say let me rename this as a add column press enter so this function gives us an error that add column cannot add column product category since it's already exist that means already exist column we cannot create with the help of add column so how can we use this function so let's see the practical guys let me rename this as selected column so again we will create a new table and this table name is add column and I will write my DAX which is add column and our first parameter is table so this time I will take as sales table so firstly guys we will see the sales table let's say we want to fetch out the year from this order date with the help of year DAX function 
the first parameter is table name which was sales and the second parameter is name one so what i will do i'll just simply press shift plus enter and now i will write my the new column name which is year now i will write my dax function which is again year and i will write the order date here because we want to fetch the data from order date so we guys can see our new column has added in add column and the one common difference we would already started that it is not working on existing column but select column working on existing column now move to the dax reference page and see what are the next functions so let's talk about this concat net and excel user are well aware of this function this function basically joins two strings so go to the power bi desktop and check how does it work so i am taking new column from here and write my column name let's say concat net and now i will write my dax which is concat net and here are two parameters which is text1 and text2 so our first string is let's say we want to join this country and state so our first text is country comma and our second string is states and close the bracket and press enter so we guys can see our new column has added with added two strings which is india delhi china chennai <laughs> now we want to add space or maybe hyphen between these two strings so how do we do that so let's simply add it this formula i will use guys ampersand sign here and inverted comma so what i'll do i'll just click here and use ampersand sign before this comma and now i will write inverted comma begin and press space button and close the inverted comma and again press comma and now enter so space has added between these two strings in this way you can also use hyphen sign here let's say i'll remove space and press hyphen and press enter so we guys can see hyphen sign has added here so in this way you guys can use concat net dax function now we will study concat net x which is an iterator function guys that means the result of an expression evaluated for each row in a table so let's see guys how concat net x works so i'll take the new column from here so let me rename my column name which is concat net x now i will write my dax which is concat net x and here first parameter is table so we are working on add column table so our table name is add column now comma and it is asking for the expression so our expression is country column now it is asking for the delimiter that means what delimiter you want to apply like hyphen comma space so i'll put it here comma with an inverted comma and close the bracket see guys that means that all values of country are converted into single row so question is what is the use of it so go to our visual section and i will take one table visual from here and drag this customer name column as well as concat net x let me increase the value so we can segregate this like anjit rai sold in india china usa australia 
so we can segregate the information with the help of concrete net x so i hope you are cleared with the concept of concrete net and concrete net x so we have studied two dax functions in our today's class which is table manipulation functions and text functions and we have only one category is left which is time intelligence function and we will study some time intelligence function dax in our upcoming class and this would be our last part of dax class and after that we will move towards the next process of our report building which is building report so guys stay tuned with us for more learning and make more practice yourself of dax functions and other concepts which we have already studied please support this channel guys and kindly subscribe and share with those who really want to learn power bi from scratch and i am also providing paid training for interview preparation as well as power bi full course for more updates you guys can follow me on linkedin link is given under the description box thank you so much guys for your love and support